freestyle fighter, stands 5'8", weighed in 134 pounds. Holds an amateur record, zero wins, one defeat. Training in a top tier and fighting on North Platte, Nebraska, Evan DeCook. His <laughs> brother across the cage, fighting at the I-80 tattoo red corner. Is a kickboxer standing 5'4", weighed in 140 pounds. Also holding an amateur record, zero wins, one defeat. Training independently and fighting out of McCook, Nebraska, Miguel El Pieso Navarro. The referee is Rob Bieber. Somebody's O has to go. Got to look at it that way. Say what? Another fight where the O is going tonight. Crawford exactly. Is fighting. I wish I kept up better on boxing. I don't, uh, I keep up a little bit. Oh, nice. There you go. That's that overhand Miguel was looking for and the kicks. He has uh, held true on his statement of throwing overhands and kicks. Got a Michael Jordan tattoo as well. So, oh, Oh, good nice. kicks on him. I keep up with jujitsu more. Me too. Hey. Miguel keeping his hands very low. Want to see him angle off that cage if you can. Angle to the right, get out of there. Well, I'd like to see some of the... Uh, Bipod did pretty well, but I'd like to see the fighters uh, start putting more uh, punches together, more combinations. Evan latching onto an arm and guillotine here. He's able to snap up into a head position. Let's see if he goes, uh, passes it right to the back. Oh, there he goes. Sneaking around. Go that inside hook. Oh, is this going to drive forward going to mount? We're wrestling in him. Miguel's got to, like, fucking move, uh, start shrimping, yep. do something. He cannot just be like this. Trap. There he goes. There we go. Yeah, you'll see a lot of people cover up. And, I, you know, I tell my fighters, it's going gonna, it's gonna to suck, but you're going to get punched once or twice. In order for you to get out, you're probably going to get hit once or twice. But... You're not going to be able to do much if your hands are up. So I'd like to have yeah. Miguel put the hands on the hips and start to escape his hips. Yeah, yeah usually oh. when I'm defending mount, I the longer I've been in mount, the less likely I am to get out of it. Right. Almost was able to get an arm bar there. He's got to get his feet. It's like he's trying to trap, but uh, if you don't have the flexibility, and only a handful of people do, you gotta start putting those feet on the mat and start bridging. Yep. Yeah, and hands. He's either. not really trapping a foot, which you'd see a lot with your beginner jujitsu. Uh, trap the foot and roll. Likes to see Evan switch his grip there, so he's got his left hand down. I'd like to have him switch to his right and start throwing with his left. That way, his uh, Miguel's arms are kind of crossed up, but not quite seeing it. Kind of work that. There we around. go. Up. Oh. And he there. Hits it out. Now he can get some shots in. Goes Miguel will have to base up. Oh, he shot that arm right through. That's deep. Yep, he can that's... arch two into that. Oh, Miguel almost Got out, the but tap. gets it. I did, yeah, I did like that he went, tried to roll to his back. I think if you're from there, you might as well just arch into that. Don't. Oh. Oh. It's that one extra second there. Sometimes Tapped you try a little, to get up. Yeah. Yep. Been there before. Yeah, that's. Didn't quite go out, but you kind of do. Yeah, that's. I remember waking up one time from getting choked out and like being mad because I I was listening to like the world's best rap music, <laughs> and it was just in my dream. It was just. So, um, my that. first story was uh, having that happen, and it's like the craziest dream you'll ever have. Usually, that's how I described uh, going unconscious. I want to know how you dream. You know, because when you're supposed to, you're only supposed to dream when you're in REM. Like, how do you dream under like two seconds? That's I don't know. I got a lot in it, though. Yeah. I had a lot of <laughs> flashes. A lot of dreaming in in that short amount of time. My uh, my first uh, uh, loop choke, that was an eye-opening experience, learning that I could be tapped from side control. Tough. <laughs> you're always yeah, taught with the, no, you're good with the guillotine. No, I was <laughs> not good. Not at all. Miguel looks to be okay, getting greeted by his uh, family and friends here. Trainer. Doctor checked in on him. Sometimes that's kind of a scary feeling when you first uh, get nearly choked Ladies out. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Rob Beaver calls a stop to the fight. Two minutes, 36 seconds into the very first round for your winner by tap out. Did a rear naked choke. 
have had to 